I got emailed a question that I didn't quite understand. Uh, and I put it in the model, this GPT-5, and it answered it perfectly. And I really kind of sat back in my chair. Sam Altman leans back in his chair, blinking at a perfect multidimensional answer his team's newest model just wrote. An answer he, the CEO of OpenAI, couldn't craft himself after decades in the field. That single confession ripped through tech Twitter like a siren. GPT-5 isn't rumor. It's already flexing, quietly dissecting problems that merge law, code, and ethics in a single breath. In late July, cyber sleuths spotted GPT-5 Reasoning Alpha tucked inside an internal OpenAI benchmark repo. Screenshots spilled onto Discord, showing scores that dwarfed GPT-4s by double digits on everything from genomic analysis to cross-lingual satire. Engineers whisper that hallucinations have fallen so sharply the model now highlights its own shaky assumptions in yellow, urging caution before users even ask. Insiders describe GPT-5 as more hive than model. A new routing core decides in real time whether your prompt needs a math specialist, a code wizard, or a vision module, then stitches their answers together before you can blink. Imagine having Stack Overflow, Wolfram, Midjourney, and half of PubMed all behind one chatbox, minus the copy-paste gymnastics, minus the paywalls. Early enterprise testers are already running wild. One biotech startup fed GPT-5 raw, unfiltered lab notebook scribbles. The model mapped drug target interactions and drafted a patent outline overnight. Hedge fund quants report that it reverse-engineered dark pool trade sequences and explained them in plain English. A game studio even claims the model generated questlines that adapt dynamically to players' emotions. The experimental reasoning slice of GPT-5 quietly sat the 2025 International Math Olympiad. It cracked five of six brain melters, earning a gold medal and tying Google DeepMind's entry. Human prodigies still topped the leaderboard, but for the first time an AI matched them in open book warfare. No external tools, just raw cognition. Clock number one, private mini and nano builds are rumored to hit select partners in early August, giving devs a taste of lightning fast on device reasoning. Clock number two, October 6th, OpenAI's Dev Day in San Francisco. Altman's team promises the biggest stage yet, and insiders expect a live demo that finally lets the public probe GPT-5's fractured yet flawless mind. Even OpenAI can't print GPUs. NVIDIA's next-gen accelerators are back-ordered. Data center power bills look like small nation GDPs, and every new safety guardrail adds latency. One leaked spreadsheet pegs operating cost at 4 cents per thousand tokens. Affordable at first, ruinous at trillion token scale. Behind the curtain, policy lawyers draft responsible release playbooks faster than the model can rewrite them. Beyond the labs, the ripple effects are already visible. Coding boot camps, rewriting curricula, language learning apps racing to integrate real-time coaches, and regulators preparing briefing memos titled simply AGI Contingency. Venture capital, meanwhile, is hoarding dry powder for startups that build on, around, or against GPT-5. So here we stand, two ticks away from a model that outthinks its own creators and ties teenage prodigies at math. Will GPT-5 mark the line where human expertise becomes optional, or will the hype outpace reality? Drop your prediction below, because the countdown has already started, and the next answer that makes you feel useless might arrive before this video's comment section loads. Until then, stay curious. This is Jump to Future, and I'll see you again soon.